Hey everyone, it's Drew here at the top of the episode for a quick recap of the last session. Uh, to clarify, the players, they descended into the boss chamber, which they saw was a series of platform-like islands circling around another series of rings with a shield guardian in the middle, and then on the various other platforms was a bunch of skeletons who were shooting at them, and in the water there were sharks. So they started to fight the skeletons, and the shield guardian used his magics to move platforms together to group the players with skeletons. The Earth Mover started building platforms, uh, Chip and Dale, they swam over to attack things, and so far the party's doing a pretty good job. Let's see if they can keep it going with this next part of the fight. She out. On the platform, I can make the walls in four rounds. Now the shield guardian is gonna go. Okay. And he does a similar thing where he points uh, his staff at the other platform, and then just sort of, um, drags it along. So now that uh, six and five are now on connecting areas. Also, in the meantime, I might as well just let my raven... The skeletons aren't attacking my raven, right? No. They aren't aggressive towards it. Got it. So I'm going to let my raven sit on the chest (laughs) in the meantime. Okay. Just to keep it out of the way and not have any confusing icons. Okay, I'm just going to give you guys editing powers over this. <sighs> no, oh, we already see the entire power. map, so we can't. Okay, well, guys, don't grief the map. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we can. Select all, delete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the entire the entire water temple falls into the abyss. <laughs> all the characters, you're all starting at the sigil wheel end because you registered your quest. <laughs> Create brand new characters. Group is done. Now it's Dale's turn. Yes. All right, so Dale, 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 Dale. Where is Dale going to do? How do you do that? Oh, you click both of them. You Correct. right click and you click group. So what happens if you group them? Then you can, can just up. drag the little man around together. Really wish I'd known that like an hour ago. Dale is going to throw his spear. Well, wait, you know, if he throws his spear, he's going to lose it, right? He won't be able to do spear attacks. Or he no. it. Okay, so Dale's going to swim over to number nine. If he wants to go over to that other platform? Yes. Okay, make the attack roll. It's an 11. And eleven is eleven totals a mess. All right. Next attack. We got nine hits. Shoot! Oh shoot! I gained nothing in that. Well, I wouldn't say nothing. I mean, now ship is closer to the skeleton. Oh yes. We got six. Okay, now right now it's Gerald's turn. How come I don't right. have editing powers? <laughs> you do. No, I don't. Refresh the page. You're just not accessing it with your Google account. Re- right refresh the page. Um. Okay. Geralt is going to. Uh. You know what? Geralt is just gonna. He's gonna do some. Uh, since they decided to come to him, he's gonna do inflict wounds on. <laughs> on the. No, not the one that's in front of page. On five. Okay. You could shove him into the water. <laughs> oh, true. Oh, okay, yes. He's gonna shove five into the water. Wait, let me think how shove works. I think that you can only shove in a straight line. I don't think you can shove it 90 degrees. You know, that could be what the Majuda move does. Yeah, that could be part of it. Yeah, you can shove with dexterity and at a 90 degree angle. You know, with judo, I can actually jo- throw you backwards. <laughs>
Hang on, I have to look up technique. All right, so yeah, you knock it prone or push it five feet away. Yeah. So yeah, you wouldn't necessarily be able to shove this guy into the water. You want to knock so him I, prone? I, so I, I cannot do that. No, not based on the current positioning, but you can always just keep attacking him. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be inflict wounds. You could just keep attacking number three, and I can throw number five. Uh, I just rolled a 19 to, to hit. That hits, roll damage. 3d10. Oh, yeah, right? 3d10? Uh, Yeah, it's a powerful spell. Yes, sir. Remember, this is the one that, like, did massive damage against the cloud. Oh, right. All right, that's going to be a 19 total. So, yeah, you know, you just make this entire skeleton just completely rot away. Like, like the, dust. the smell of decay just fills the air and you're next to Gerald and Bitch. That's what we call overkill. <laughs> okay, Gerald went, so now... He's on position. He can't I do have anything. to research this. I have to. What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? Okay. Now, Skeleton 6 is going to rush over. Hopefully this one is going to be the one that hits Bitch. Hopefully this one. Okay, does a 17 be your armor class? No, I, I'm kidding, yes. Well, you take 9 slashing damage. Oh! Ouch! Ouch! That hurts. Luckily, I healed a lot of it back, so... Oh, that's smart. Also, I'm starting to think that I put too many minions in this boss chamber. Not, not even from, like, a balanced perspective, but just from a this-is-a-lot-to-keep-track-of perspective. Oh, okay. So what's behind, like, above, uh, row one? Um, it's just, like, solid stone walls surrounding the, uh, boss chamber. Oh, okay. So no water? <laughs> no. The water's the blue stuff. Wait, whose turn is it? Gerald just went. No, no, Skeleton 6 just went. Oh, yeah, now it's Stitch's turn. All right. Well, how far? It's five feet. I yep. Throw. If I add key to it, do you mind if it becomes 15 feet? Yeah, we can do that. You're trying to knock number three in the water. Maybe. Everywhere? That, no, maybe. Well, because 15 feet is technically for six all the way to D1. Which is water. I don't know. I'll just keep it simple because I already damaged number three. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is attack number three. Okay. First punch, 13 plus. That what hits. Full damage. Nice. You, you like barely have to touch a skeleton because girl like him for 11 earlier. All right. Cool. How much damage? Uh, so then I would have. What is it? D6 plus 4. It's 10 damage. Okay, yeah, you're able to knock off a lot of it. Oh, yeah, that's able to kill him with the damage from before. Awesome. And you still have two more attacks this round. Yes, I you do. You want to play into number 6? Yeah, I am. Okay. Uh, let's go. Okay. 14 plus 4, 18. That hits. Roll damage. How is 8 damage? Yeah, pretty good. Alright, last one. Is 6 plus 4, 10? Doesn't hit. No, it tends to miss. Okay, that's going to bring us to Earth Mover. All right. Um, 
I'm going to make one piece of bridge. And I just want to see... Like, I'm going to get up to, but not onto, the differing stone texture. I want to take an investigation check on it. Okay. I had a better investigate, but it's uh, only a 15. Yeah, with the 15, you know, it just seems to be a different color stone. Okay. Nothing particularly special about it. I'm heading towards the Middle Island. I'm yelling that out to whomever. Okay, and then I'm going to mark this as a distinct mistake before I make the conscious choice to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go ahead and step onto the uh, differing colored stone. Yeah, that's fine. That's Chip's turn. So, Chip... I I'm really hoping they don't die right here. Uh, no, actually... I, I can't decide whether or not to have Chip go up towards Geralt and uh, Fitch, but then leave Dale behind and let Dale come later in the round, or to have him go help Dale, but they're both pretty low on health. Yeah, Chip is Chip is gonna run towards Girl and Pitch. Wait, uh, run or swim or what? Yeah, wait. Let me see the map. Because he can swim forty feet per round or walk thirty feet. Um. That's at yeah. So he's he's just gonna he's he's gonna go towards the mover. Okay. And uh, wait, I'm trying to figure out which is like the fastest direction. Yeah, so he's gonna go to E six. Or E7. Okay. However, the furthest direction to be able to travel. Yeah, see, Andres, aren't you glad you made that land bridge for the fish? What do you mean for the fish? You definitely made that so that ship could stand next to you, right? No. Are you going to push him in the water? Thinking about it. <laughs> Joke's on you, he's a fish. Plot twist. Better jokes on me. I can only shove in a straight line. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of straight lines, skeleton number six is going to go. Does a 16 hit Fetch? Uh, if only it was actually that close because it's actually a 15. Piece okay. Of well, then he gets you for eight slashing damage. Oh, well. Yeah. I guess it happens, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, you might want to do something about this guy. Six, six slashing? Uh, eight slashing. This guy, he's going to step back a little bit. And now he's going to run towards Earthmover and with a running jump, land right next to him. Oh, Whoa. God. <gasps> I told you, I told you it was a bad idea. Now he's gonna try to punch you. Leave me alone! I have no health, I am a okay, child. Does, does, it, does, does a one beat your armor class? Does rolling a one, does, does that beat your armor Does class? rolling a natural one beat my armor class? No, surprisingly By definition, not. by definition. 
by the literal definition of the game system, no, but that doesn't make me any less surprised. Okay, this guy gets it's two attacks. He rolled a one, then a two. Amazing. Oh, it, it, it's okay, though, because it's a two plus 20, because screw you. <laughs> no, no. That, that still messes. But yeah, I mean, but I imagine that that was probably, like... That's the most terrified Earth Mover has probably ever been. Yeah, exactly. Even my Earth Mover standard, that was probably freaky. That this guy who's been mostly standing still since you entered the battle just swinging towards you. Just leapt ten feet through the air and landed directly next to me and said, Hey, sup, kid. And then proceeded to miss two punches leveled at my head. Those were warning shots. Get hey, hey, Geralt. We need to take care of number six and get over there. Hey, sup. Okay. I will say both of you have uh, the ability to jump that far for sure. I have, I can jump a lot farther too. It's a five foot jump. Yeah, I don't think jumps with any special jumping abilities. A a commoner could make that jump from standing. No, but I can jump. Wait, where is it? No, I think I, I had this conversation with my with the monk in my other campaign, and I don't think that uh, monks get special jumping powers. Regardless. A commoner could make that jump from standing. And, um, skeleton number 10 swings at Dale but misses. Oh, or wait, yes, no, sir. I guess not. They could make a 5-foot jump. And that's a 10-foot jump. Well, with running, they could make that, right? Yeah. With a 20-foot with a run, they could. Where was it where I wa- ran up a wall 40 feet? Um... I think that was more like part athletics check and you were expending key and we just because you were fighting Clyde and you were trying to use your um your knock abilities to knock him off the wall. Yeah. Oh, to knock him prone. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was more of just a climb that you were moving so fast that we flavored it. It was almost like you were running a whole wall. Okay. Also, I missed, well, now it is Skeleton 6's turn again. Wait. Nope, nope. I just skipped something very important. It's Dale's turn and then Gerald's. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. No, st- step of the wind. Your jump distance is doubled for the turn. But that was it. That was it. You can do that specifically. Okay. Dale is going to swim to... Uh... Wait. He-, he currently has two hostile creatures right next to him. Does he want to do anything before he swims away? <laughs> the disengage. Uh, he's going to disengage oh, can you tagging? Yeah. And where's he heading? Yeah. To to E11. Okay. Can you make it E11? Because oh. he can swim he can swim 40 feet. And, uh, I mean, okay, yeah. Okay, now it's Gerald's turn. Okay. Uh, Fitch, you think you got number six? Fitch? Yeah, I think I can take him out, yeah. Okay, then Geralt's going to start heading towards the big baddie. Okay. I like that well, you can definitely swim five feet on your turn I'll, if you just need to go that way. Also, uh, Ger- yeah. Geralt, I was going to try knocking him into the water. Since I am probably the only person that can knock someone to the side. Okay. Uh, yeah, so how far would you are you going to allow Geralt to move towards the bad guy? Okay, so then... He's gonna hop in the water, then... Water's difficult to... Well, not difficult to rain, but it, he doesn't have a swim speed. Okay. It's two, three, four, five, six, right up behind Chip. Yeah. Oh, right behind Chip? Okay. And then he's going to... Uh... Yeah, you can shoot over um, Earth Mover and Chip's shoulders. Mind if I move the sharks a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. 
Yeah, if you guys need to, if you guys want to straighten anything up on the map, that's fine. Just don't like randomly start moving things. He's going to uh, shoot with firebolt the golem. No, he. Um, why are the sharks moving the way that they are? Um, they're sharks. They move. Oh, I thought what? you meant that you just. I thought you <laughs> straighten them up a little bit because they were crooked. Sharks are sharks. <laughs> <laughs> they yes, swim around you. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you want, Drew? Realistic. <laughs> Fine. Realistic. <laughs> this affects nothing. The sharks have been doing nothing all combat. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, well, they don't do anything. They're right now cosmetics. <laughs> okay, Fetch, you can be the designated shark mover then. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Earth mover and shark mover. Just don't put them all into one corner. You have to, like, rotate them and stuff. No, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, uh, what did Gerald get for his attack? That being um, said, I am going to straighten up some of these skeletons. Well, the he just got... He just rolled a 16. That is a miss. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I still haven't added, so... Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's charisma, correct? Yes. So that's a right. 20 overall. I'm thinking that has. Yes. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. 2d10. 13. Um, yeah, you just blast this guy for 13 fire damage, which. Is he resistant? No. Is he, is yeah. he, is he weak to fire? No. Uh. But that does <laughs> seem to have phased him a lot more than what um, Fitch was trying earlier. And and he just glares at you deeply. Hmm. Come at me, buddy. Get closer. <laughs> Actually, I, I feel like I shouldn't provoke him because I only have like 11 health. <laughs> I... I do not know why I said that out loud. Now Drew's going to try to kill me. Next, this round. I'll make sure to move the sharks closer to you. Okay, good, good. Hilton's 11 and 12 are going to go. Yeah. They're both going to leap over to the to this platform. They jump too? Yes. Oh Every my gosh. <laughs> Next thing you're going to say that the sharks can jump out of the water too. Good idea. No. 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 The sharks spontaneously grow legs and jump onto land. Yeah, they're for phase three of the battle. Make a wisdom save. <laughs> okay, anyway, does a 14 be Earth Mover's armor class? I don't think it does. Um, No, thank God. I have a 15. Okay, what about another one? No. No nat ones still are going to no? pierce my armor. Still, still not? Okay. Swing. Does a 16 beat your armor class? Wait, your armor class is exactly 16, so yeah, that beats. Meets beats. So yeah, that's going to be four slashing damage. On me? Yep. Oh, because, because yeah, the me. only skeleton that's on me. Now they're all going onto the ring? What yeah. is this? Leave. Me but does, does this Welcome does, to phase two. So does that mean that if say I was in be if there was a skeleton between me and a, so say there's me, skeleton, and then another skeleton. So skeleton one and two. Can skeleton two attack me, even though skeleton one is in the way? Probably shoot you. But Skeleton 1 is in the way, and I'm smaller than Skeleton 1. We'll worry about the dynamics of that when it gets there. Okay. I think, All right. I think the rulebook has a mechanic called cover that should cover these. Mm -hmm. That would have also should not have let Gerald shoot at the thing. Oh, gotta move the sharks. Give me a sec. Well, the way I see it, he's just kind of like maneuvering his staff. It's a little different than, um, you know, firing an arrow. 
Awesome. Oh, was that a spell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you require line of sight, but if you can see oh, them, God. then it's anyway to deal. <laughs> I I roll to attack. Please do. Thirteen plus four. That hit. Roll damage. Five plus four nine. Okay. Yeah. You get you knock off most of his skeletaliness, and he drops his sword. Make another attack. 18. Now you punch him and he shatters. <laughs> Minimum damage will kill him. Alright. Be gone! Now, do you want to get into the water and start flying with the sharks, or do you want to jump the ring? I think I'm gonna jump. Actually, you know, no. Um, since I'm also owner of the shark. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna jump. Earth. Anyway, it's Earth Mover's turn. I'm building a bridge to the middle and crossing. Um, also, sure. Yeah, go ahead and roll alchemy for that. Okay. Bad. Uh, it's uh, 15. Not terrible. I'm going across. Uh, opportunity attack be damned. Okay. Um, does a 21 be your class? You know what? Just barely, yeah. An alchemist with no armor? Yeah. Who oh, no. I actually, I actually do have armor. Yeah, that's 11 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Terrible. Bad. Cursed. Uncomfortable. 11? Yeah. That is a quarter that's... of my max health, which I was not at. Boy, let's get the damage dealers in the front quick. Yeah, please. <laughs> well, by the way, since it's already too late to worry about this, when I was asking if you guys wanted to do anything earlier, I was hoping you would think to bottle up some acid. Why would we? Why well, would we, we be that smart? To what do you bottle it up? Yeah, you have glass bottles on your person. No, probably, also, I'm just gonna remind you. You guys have like a plethora of potions. I don't think you have. I think the only potions that have been consumed the entire campaign was the caffeine thing that Alicia drank in episode three, and then some health stuff along the way. Aside also, that, that you one thing in a single potion. Also, the thing in um, Clyde's mansion. You found potions, but you didn't drink them. We didn't drink them, but no. after no, we drank. Someone drank one a little bit. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, I think, like, to test it, you drank, like, the potion of greening or whatever, but anyway, you guys have a bunch of potions if you want to try using them. But now, Earthmover went, so... It's Chip's turn. Alrighty. Uh, Chip is going to... He's going to attack the uh yeah yeah attack the boy okay wait 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 actually uh if someone is in the in the square am I able to get in the same square with them and attack um so you normally can't end what Andreas can you end a turn on a friendly creature's square no. Okay. You're not, well, you're I'm not supposed to be able to like, enter friendly creatures first to begin with. Well, you can with, pass through them. I feel like you're not supposed to be able to, but most, yeah, you can pass most tables I've played at. Then... Okay, tell you what. I will say that Gerald can... that The fish people, they can be sharing a square, and Gerald himself can share a square with up to one of them. Just due to the relationship that the three of you have. Okay. Can I jump? Okay, so, so Chip's gonna go and attack. Okay. Big boy. Attack roll. Sixteen. A sixteen total? Yes. That is a miss. He just scratches oh. against the hard... It's literally called a shield guardian. Uh, just scratches okay. against its metal uh, surface, but he does get multi attack. That's a ten... Oh, I, actually, wait, 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 no. Uh, it's damage, correct? I yes. I damaged it earlier. Yes. I do get, uh, I do get 
advantage. And that's an 18. That that's hits 21. Right. Yes, sir. So that's a D4. Oh, well, it's just two damage, but damage is damage. All right, second attack. Okay. It, that's, I got a 10, so it's going to be a miss. Again, well, 18. Again, so it's, attacks. So it's, it's going to be a 21. <laughs> that hits. That just that's, the two, that's the two plus one, so three. It's a little bit of damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to make all the difference, I'm telling you. <laughs> Okay, now, um, okay, that definitely misses. Dale's turn. No, wait, no. Um, what, wrong die. Oh, same damage. Okay, now a Skeleton 11 shoots at Earthmover for 8. It hit about 15. Uh, it got a 15. Oh. God. It's eight For piercing damage. Eight. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. That... Which skeleton was that? That was skeleton eleven. Eleven. Okay. Okay. Now the shield guardian's gonna go. Oh jeez. Hey he guys, swing his staff at Chip. Goodbye, Chip. Man is dead. But misses. No, come <laughs> oh, on. Yes, Guys, you Luckily, want me to take care of the skeletons? He has multi-attack. Oh. And he misses again. <laughs> oh. Or is it an what? F20? Did he miss? He did not? Oh. Is this a nat 20? Yeah, okay, so uh, Chip takes 14 cold damage. Well, he's not safe, so... <laughs> do, I, do I roll now, or do I roll... Um, you roll on his turn. Now it's Dale's turn. Does Dale want to go avenge his fallen brother? No, not quite yet. Um... Does he want to avenge no, actually, his fallen? Actually, yes. Yes, he is. He's going to okay. go and... Uh, Heal chip for one. Using uh their paladin ability. Yeah, he does have just enough movement to go around the long way so he wouldn't invoke an opportunity attack against the shield guardian. Oh okay. okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like Captain America. I can do this all day. Jim just pops back up. Okay, Dale went, so now it is. Should be girl. Yep. And Geralt is going to run up to the to the guardian, yeah. And he's going to try to force a. I'm not really sure how potions work, but he has a potion. I mean, I'll, I'll let you know. This thing seems to be like like some kind of like you were told that it was a shield guardian, and that's been here for hundreds of years, so it might not necessarily be like a living creature. Uh... But do you really want to try to force feed him a potion? 
Um, hmm. No, uh, Geralt's just going to do his, he's going to do third level inflict wounds on it. Okay. If you attack roll. Oh, also, you guys should have taken a cannon off the ship. That would have been that helpful. wouldn't have been allowed. <laughs> hey, architect, are we are we allowed to just take this for the... <laughs> So, sorry. Come on, please. That's, oh, fuck. Frick, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, that's gonna be 18 plus 4. That hits. Roll damage. 5d10. Okay, roll it. That's gonna be a 37. Um, that doesn't kill it, but describes what this looks like. Uh, so, Geralt is going to run up, and, uh, I guess he, like, just shove his hand into the middle of the guardian's chest, and, like, as he's twisting and pushing it back, like, a surge of necrotic energy just surges through it, and the middle of it of its chest is now, like, darkened. Yeah. But it's almost like you're absorbing energy out of it. Like, you're blo- glow- glowing bright gold as it begins to darken. Yeah. So it looks really cool for a moment, just like him glowing with the sun. Okay, uh, Gerald points, so... Skeleton 11. No. That's not right. Oh, no. Nobody scales in London next. Okay. That misses. Number seven is going to try to shoot at Earthmover, but also misses. Now it's Stitcher's turn. Let's see. Uh... Can I jump from five to eight or no? Um, that would be if you want, you can definitely swim there on your turn. You have enough movement for that. Personally, I do want to deal with the skeletons first. Do you guys got the big, do you guys have the big, uh, bad so far, or do you guys need help? We definitely. Need help. You want to try pushing him into the shark water? That's what I want to do. But also, I'm interested in the gem that the, like, the thing that it has, that staff. I want to see if I could take it. Shouldn't the person with the most strength and the person who also happens to be standing right next to him, shouldn't that be (laughs) something he tries? I didn't think about that. (laughs) But yeah, if you want. I'll tell you what, that you can be like, Joe, try to grab the staff. I'm going to go take care of the skeletons. But now I'm interested in the staff. <laughs> um. But, yeah, I could first take care of the skeletons. Okay. You, you guys take care of the big bad guy. I'll see what I can do about the skeletons so that we can just get rid of this. Okay. Oh, I was, I was going to be doing walls. Okay. Well, we're already. It looks like we might be past that because the big bad moved. Yep. Okay, your turn. Okay, so um. Yeah, but I can still prevent them. From, can I can still prevent them from shooting me from the island and then like yeah. throw spells at them. You can <laughs> try swimming directly down, but remember, you also have a longbow and a ranged cantrip that can pretty much reach anywhere in the map if you're standing close to the center. Yeah, but I can't yeah. push them. I can't. Yeah, I think the range them. on shell touch is 120 feet. So if you want to get into the center near Earth Mover, you can basically just shell touch everyone. But I can't do it at the same time, Drew. <laughs> well, okay. you can shell touch anyone. 
and and from where you're standing right now, you cannot get close to close enough to anyone to punch them. All right, I'll be going to the center first. Okay. And who do you want shield touch? Uh, who's attacking so far? Eleven, right? Skeleton eleven. Yeah, eleven's been doing a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm doing gonna do him. Okay, make an attack roll. You guys, to save uh, time, I'm just going to tell you that the skeletons all have an AC of 13. If you roll that, just go ahead and roll damage. I just rolled the 13. so That's fine. Roll 13%. damage. Awesome. Uh, this is chill touch. So that means I have a what? D8 or? D8 plus four. Oh, wait. Are you using your longbow or your chill touch? You just you kept saying chill touch. So, yeah, that should be 2D8. Yeah, I'm going to go to Chill Touch to see the reaction on the skeletons. 2d8. That's, yeah, that's 2d8. That is a 9. Yeah, that's a, that's a very solid hit. It did not seem to enjoy that. I don't think anything enjoys being hit. Now it's Arthmonger's turn. Okay. Um, da -da. Nope, I, that's not how that works. I'm not in roll 20. I'm going to run down here, and I'm going to make a wall that spans from G11 to K11. Just raising it up, like, to my what? head height. <laughs> Remember, it's water directly in front of you, and you don't know how far down the water goes. Unless you want to lower the ceiling. I do not. Let's say it's about a 15 foot ceiling. Uh, I look into the water. How deep does it look? It's deep enough for sharks to swim around. Yeah. So, yeah, it seems pretty. Do you want to jump in and find out? I do not. It's okay. deep enough for sharks to swim around, so I assume that there's enough. Actually, wait a minute. I'm stupid. What? I could have been doing all these things as bonus actions, I think, with my tattoo. Hmm. Aren't you limited how many times you can use the tattoo per day? Perhaps. Anyway, you can look that up um, during the another part of the round. Uh, what do you want to do, though? Tattoo... And as a reminder, you do have the Earth Gem, which can cast... Dust Devil and Earth Tremor. I... Okay. What does Dust Devil do? I think it summons a monster that attacks things. That sounds right. Uh, yeah, it's a Conjuration spell. Sure, I'll do that. Um... Also, I, I guess I'm not stupid, because it would have taken me a bonus action to draw it, and then an action to do it otherwise. Because <sighs> what I basically want to do is I want to do an ice wall up, and then hold the ice wall in place by making a stone burr, basically. Okay, um, yeah, so, so with Dust Devil, it's basically an area of effect that can damage and push things away. Or you can raise an ice wall. Um, I'd rather, I'd, I want to do the ice wall. Okay. Which is going to be two separate alchemy checks at once, I guess. Because <laughs> I'm manipulating two different elements. Go ahead and uh, just roll plus... Tell you what, we'll say that you can make the ice wall now. Roll plus alchemy, and that'll be how much HP it has. Cool. Basically none. It's 12. Okay. And its AC will be equal to your um, alchemy save DC. I think that's how we did this last time. That sounds right. I think that was also a stone wall. Similar enough concept. So it's got... It, its AC is higher than its health. Yep. It's a first level character. 
Um, yeah, how, how many levels in wall did you take? None. It okay, was funny because that's how I discovered my powers. Uh, yeah, I guess that's my turn. Yeah, now it's Chip's turn. Yeah. Um. Huh. Chip is going to. He's gonna attack the big guy. The big guy. Okay, make an attack roll. Three. Uh, but he's damaged. Yeah. And Thirteen. this guy does not bleed either, but <laughs> 13 is also. <laughs> but he gets multi attack, so. Uh, 18. And 18 to hit. Roll damage. It's uh, 6. Okay. 6 damage. Nice. <laughs> You're definitely chip in the way at him. <laughs> uh, so funny. And speaking of chipping away, Skeleton Twelve is going to shoot at the ice wall and misses. Yeah, this guy missed a wall. It's crazy. He's like me when he comes to shooting. Okay. Yeah, and so does number eleven. Now. Now it's the Shield Guardian's turn. He's going to point his um, staff at um, Gerald, and you feel yourself begin to freeze up a little bit. I'm going to need you to make a Wisdom saving throw. So 19. 19 to success. You're able to break off from this guy attempting to freeze you. <laughs> that whole person, when it works, changes the outcome of the battle. <laughs> okay, shield going in. Okay, Dale's turn. How are you? Dale's gonna. Dale's gonna run over. Can he reach number seven on M eight? No, it'd be out of his range. But if you want, you can get on the other side of the shield guardian and start flanking him. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we can still do that. Okay. And I assume he also wants to start making attacks? Yes. He just rolled a 19. 19 hits? What does the shield guardian appear to be made of? Uh, some kind of metal. Awesome. Are you about to... <laughs> Nine, a four. What, what'd you say? A four. Four damage, yeah. Four damage. And now he gets a second attack. He got a... 17. Uh, 17 hits. Oh, yes. But that's going to be a 2 on the attack. Okay. 
I mean, I love how Dale's being such an MVP this round, like, or this this battle, you know, he healed Chip, now he's just back into the action, just keeps chipping away at this guy. Or bailing away at him, rather. <laughs> okay, now it's Gerald's turn. Alright, Gerald's gonna try to rip the staff out of the gold hand. Okay. Make a strength check. Not strength check. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, that's an 11. Well, he got a natural 20 plus 4, so yeah, I'm thinking he'll <laughs> come. But hey, if it makes you feel any better, you have the same strength as this guy. Oh, nice. He just managed to to get to roll faster higher. than I did. Yeah, yeah, he was able to position himself better to hold on to it. Okay, that's going to bring us to skeletons eleven and twelve. That hits. Um, Andreas, he, skeleton eleven does five damage to your ice wall. Okay, that's almost half of its health. Yeah. Okay, now Skeleton 7 is going to try to shoot at Fitch. Um, let's see now. That's 8 damage. Do you want to throw it back? You can. It'll cost a key if you throw it back. So now. Okay, now Skeleton 8 is going to shoot at Earth Mover. That definitely misses. Now it's Fitch's turn. All right, so I had an idea. Yeah. So it's not possible for me to take a running start to jump at skeleton number seven and, you know, kick him off. Or I at least, like, shove him off by running into him. You can do that. Or you, you can at least try. An air tackle. Yeah. yeah you, or, have to... you, you know, like a kick that people like Hi -ya! yeah you have to back up a little bit but yeah you'd have enough movement speed and you have a high enough strength score to do that all right so ooh, 19 yep yeah you just knock this guy into the and knock him into the <laughs> we just say that earth mover is facing the wrong way to have seen that Gerald saw it, and it was awesome. You just do like a running <laughs> jump and kick this guy into the water. Earth Mover's like too busy trying to maintain his ice wall. He's like, we, we got this bitch. Where'd you go? <laughs> Where did you... <laughs> what? Anyway, and I plan on grabbing him. Now you can also attack number eight if you want. Yeah, I'm uh, going to uh, throw this guy also into the water. <laughs> so the Judah throw? <laughs> yes. Okay. You know, he, he rolled so low that with your modifiers, you're guaranteed to get it. 12 plus whatever. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Now the best kind of action is... Uh, now the best Earth kind of attack is a non-attack. What does Earth Mover want to do? That's what I've been considering. So, I have... Um, wait. It costs less and it's better. Okay. Um, so I have two options here. I could try to drag it into the water. I could try to make it make a deck save and jump into the water itself. Um, or I could just shoot it. What do we think? Shoot it with me. <laughs> Throw I, me. I, I can try to do 1d10 damage. I can try to drag it into the water with an elemental whip. Or I can try and make it make a deck save and jump five feet backwards. Yeah, by summoning a dust devil. No, wait, if you summon a dust devil, then your allies are going to be in its range. Yeah. Um, try with the whip. Actually, wait, because with the whip you have to do an opposing uh, strength check, right? It'd be strength against my alchemy. 
Mm. And you just saw this guy win a strength contest against Gerald, so. Yeah. I think I'm just going to shoot it, I think. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just step up to the middle here and uh, attempt to shoot him. Awesome. That is... Uh, I imagine it hits. That's a plus six, 25 to hit. Yeah, I'm th- yeah, that, 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 that hits. I'm thinking that hits. Wow, oh, Arthur finally gets a good roll. That's a rare occurrence. Six damage. Uh, wait, hang on. Let me pick the damage type. Uh, electricity. Okay. So, lightning, I guess, is the actual name. So yeah, Earthmover, you know, he's actually kind of on top of things right now, at least from an external perspective. He put up an ice wall, he just launched electricity at a at a you know metal man. He's doing well, he's doing well. Now it's Chip's turn. Chris, are you moving the sharks? Am I not the shark mover? Um, so Chip is going to Chip, uh, Chip's going to position one of the sharks. Uh, no, actually, never mind. I'm just not going to do that. Uh, He's just going to do a regular attack. Okay. Regular multi-attack. Shark Two 15s. Uh, it's going to be an 18. That hits. It's five damage. Okay. It's going to be a 13 on the one. does not Uh, yeah, that's a mess. Yeah. Okay. So now this brings us to Captain Well, which is going to try to continue to shoot at the ice barrier. Yeah, Andres, go ahead and subtract uh, seven damage from the ice barrier's health. It's down. That's going to bring us to skeleton 11, which wants to shoot at Earth Mover. Leave me alone! My I wonder guy. why. Who's taken up the most skeletons so far? Definitely That's not me. I've taken up 11 zero. piercing damage. Awesome. Chip took out two. Yep. We got any healing spells? Maybe. Gerald does. I don't want to use them. No. Yeah. Well, you do have stones endurance. I do. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use that on eleven. Okay. Oh, all 12. Awesome. I take none of that. Nice. No. Yeah, look, we're just going to say that the arrow breaks on contact with your skin. It's just tensed up. Stop, dude. Jeez. I told you. I said no. I said no. Skelly no skelling. Well, now he's going to, now the shield guardian's going to go. He's going to try to punch Gerald. Okay, so then that's five plus. But yeah, nine bludgeoning damage. <laughs> and that's only with, with only one of his fists sitting. Oh, he has two attacks? 
Yeah, the other one missed. Oh, thank, thank the Lord. Uh, okay. Now it's Dale's turn. I assume Dale keeps attacking him. Um. Yeah, uh, in this. Uh, it was a minus nine, right? Yeah. Geralt's really low right now. Oh, he has the same health as Chip. <laughs> okay, um... No, he's gonna try to take the, the staff out of the Colm's hand. Okay. But, well, actually, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I really that. that'd be cool. Well, because the staff isn't really causing us, like, damage. It's him, like, punching. Unless you guys just want to take the gem and run for it. I mean, think about it. That's literally what you came for. True. The yeah, okay. Have we yeah. seen it? It's in the staff. Oh. Yeah, snatch the staff and bolt. Okay. Yeah, okay. He'll, he'll try to get the staff. Okay, make a strength check. That's what? a six. <laughs> okay. If the shield guardian gets a one. Or two. Oh, I know. Yeah, we're, I know it's yeah, well, one. we're going to say that he's going to, that since it's his staff, he's going to have the home court advantage. Yeah. Ah, no. He got a nine. <laughs> yeah. Valiant effort, but now it's Gerald's turn. He wants to try the same thing. He's going to try the same thing. Yeah. Come on, come on. Well, now Geralt got the one, so. <laughs> yep. <gasps> so, yeah, you guys are just reaching over trying to pull. He's just like, no, <laughs> my, 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 my magic stick. Yeah. Okay, now skeletons 11 and 12. One of them's gonna try to shoot Dale instead of Earthmover. Please don't. <laughs> but he misses. And the other one misses Earthmover. Yeah, they are not rolling well. Pitch's turn. Oh uh, I'm gonna rush over to eleven and twelve. And do exactly what I've done before. <laughs> okay. Roll a dice. 14 plus whatever. That's just enough. You knock 12 into the water. All right, can I move up to 11 yeah. or? Awesome. You can knock up to 11. Now, do you want to knock him towards or away from the shark? I want to knock him towards the shark. I want to see what happens. Okay. Uh, make the roll. Our collisions on. 16. That's enough. Womp. What happens? What happens to him? You knock him onto the shark. <laughs> he's on the shark? Well, he scrambles for the shark, but then he slips off. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was about to say, do we have to worry about shark jockeys? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, there's actually a rare chance that a shark will spawn with skeleton riding on him. What is... <laughs> Okay, now it's Earth Movers turn. Alright, um I I think I'm just gonna shoot him again. I'm content with this. Mm -hmm. Someone else can snatch the staff or do something more clever. Uh I was thinking about trying the whip on it, but then it only comes towards me five feet around and I, I don't know how viable that is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yep, that's 
going to be the exact same roll as last time for for the to hit. So 20, uh, 25. That hits. Uh, and then five damage. Oh, uh, lightning again. I mean, I can't change it. I specified it, but yeah. Okay. That's going to bring us to Chip. Chip's going to try to rip it out of his hands. Go for it. Come on, Chip. Come on, Chip. Come on, Chip. <laughs> That's nat 20 plus, Let's plus one. Go. Against all odds, the Sahu Logan has stolen the magic staff from the shield guardian. Uh, can, can he try to jump into the water to escape or no? Not, not this. I mean, he has movement speed. If he wants to make a one for it. Yeah, he, he's gonna... Um... Yep, and the um, shield guardian goop... Wait. What's his armor class? Okay, so yeah, is he gonna run for it? Yes. Um... Well, he does take... Of uh, fourteen bludgeoning damage from the opportunity attack. Oh, well then he's down. Okay, but on someone else's turn, they can now pick up the staff. And right. do you guys want to call it here for tonight? It's quarter to twelve over here. We've been going for like two and a half hours, and we can pick this battle up next week with the staff just having been dropped. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds. I'm about comfortable good. with that. Okay. Oh, this has been quite the session. But until then, I've been your host and dungeon master, Drew, being joined by Earthmover and Geralt and Bitch. Bitch.